19. The Eternal Steps into Time. Immediate of the cycles of desire, around the light she must not dare to touch, hastening towards a far off, unknown goal, earth followed the endless journey of the sun. She moved towards some undisclosed event, and her rhythm measured the long whirl of time. In ceaseless motion, round the purple rim, day after day sped by like colored spokes, and through a glamour of shifting hues of air, the seasons drew in linked significant dance the symbol pageant of the changing year. Across the burning languor of the soil paced summer with his pomp of violent noons and stamped his tyranny of torrid light and the blue seal of a great burnished sky. Next, through its fiery swoon or clotted knot, rain tide burst in upon torn wings of heat, startled with lightnings, air's unquiet drowse, lashed with life-giving streams the torpid soil, overcast with flare and sound and storm-winged dark, the star-defended doors of heaven's dim sleep, or from the gold eye of her paramour, covered with packed cloud veils, the earth's brown face. Armies of revolution cross the time field. The clouds' unending march besiege the world. Tempests pronunciamentos claimed the sky, and thunder drums announced the embattled gods. A traveler from unquiet neighboring seas, the dense-maned monsoon rode neighing through the earth's hours. Thick now the emissary javelins. A traveler from unquiet neighboring seas, the dense-maned monsoon rode neighing through earth's hours. Thick now the emissary javelins. Enormous lightnings split the horizon's rim, and hurled from the quarters, as from contending camps, married heaven's edges steep and bare and blind. A surge and hiss and onset of huge rain, the long straight sleet drift, clamors of winged storm charge. Throngs of wind faces, rushing of wind feet, hurrying, swept through the pro prone, afflicted plains. Heaven's waters trailed and dribbled through the drowned land. Then all was a swift stride, a sibilant race, or all was tempest's shout and water's fall. A dimness sagged on the gray floor of day, its dingy, sprawling length joined morn to eve, wallowing in sludge and shower, it reached black dark. <laughs>